What's up? For the Dino Soups book review, we're going to be looking at Nine Stories uh, by J.D. Salinger. And if you were anything like me when you were 17, uh, one, you were probably super immature, um, but two, uh, you might have come across Catcher in the Rye. And, you know, growing up now, I understand why it appealed to me when I was 17. It's about a 17 year old boy who like runs off to New York away from his problems, um, relatable to me at the time. And I was interested in more J.D. Salinger, so I picked up Nine Stories, and recently, I haven't been the best reader. Like, I will, I will read a story and then be interested in another story and start the next story, but then stop reading the first one, and it becomes this, like, endless cycle. Uh, so when I saw Nine Stories, and it's, like, like this thick, and... You know, it's all like bite-sized stories. I knew I'd at least finish one, um, and I did. I ended up reading all of them, but I wanted to talk about a few of the ones that I enjoyed. The very first story is Banana Fish, and I first want to say that starting nine stories, I didn't expect uh, this many war-related stories, but it makes sense if you look at the historical context. I think it came out around the 1940s or 50s, so... Salinger, of course, is going to be deeply affected from the war, and you're going to see it kind of play out, um, if not all, in most of the stories. Um, so yeah, I think Banana Fish is a good introduction uh, when it comes to uh, the effects of war. In The Laughing Man, I think uh, it covers this idea that our stories, the stories that we tell change depending on how we feel, and I think in a broader sense, the, the, the works that we put out, whether it's an artist or, or a person who's writing a novel, their, their works will change depending on how they feel. I think it's an interesting concept that Salinger explores pretty interestingly by doing the story within a story method. Um, but Laughing Man is also the most action-packed out of all the other stories, so it's also interesting in that regard. All right, now Teddy. Uh, Teddy is my favorite story out of all nine stories. I think it's the last one. I don't mean to skip ahead. I just, I like it a lot. Uh, personally, I enjoy metaphysics and like medicine and poetry and it covers those concepts. So I, I enjoyed that. But the dialogue uh, that, that can be found in the story, uh, it covers so many themes that if you don't like the ones that I listen, it, you'll at least like something or you'll get something out of the story. I enjoyed it. I recommend reading it if you can. Um, if you don't read any of the stories, at least read Teddy, the Dumier. If if you can get anything out of the story, just remember that tout le monde est tout non. But yeah, it covers ideas of obsession and narcissism. And I like the way Salinger creates the world. I think a lot of his other stories tend to focus on the character, but now we see um, the actual setting that the characters place and I think he does that well in the Dumier. So yeah, all in all, I enjoyed reading uh, Nine Stories. You know, if you're a fan of Salinger, give them all a shot. And uh, yeah, yeah, that is my uh, book review or talk on Nine Stories and uh, I'll just keep you guys updated on anything else I happen to read.